Serie final sponsored by Ringmasters UK. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the record, representing Borshaw, ABC, Middleton, Manchester, Roy Heffron. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, representing Earlsfield, Bradley Steed. Referee in charge of the action, Mr. Paul Allen, and the timekeeper in charge of the bell is Mr. John Lightgeb. The chance is Heffron going up corner, for Steve Ronnie, Steve Ronnie Steve Heffron. One or two people have whispered to me, is this lad going to be the next big Manchester star? Well, you can form your own opinion. Here he is, Ronnie Heffron. Came through by beating Stuart Buckley and Andy Town, and both of them tough fights. How much has he got left? Those were in the quarterfinals and the semi-final last week. Skeet, you can see, has got real height advantage, and he'll try and utilise that reach. Yeah, I've worked with. Um this lad Heffron, he's in the podium squad, you see, John Saul, he's the lad I've been working with. And we're healthy in this division as well, because we've got Bradley Saunders, remember, who's a, an exceptional talent who went to the Olympics, and who stayed amateur, thankfully. So, yeah, we're healthy. But he's all action, Heffron. He is. And I noticed the uh, emerging young Manchester pro trainer, Anthony Farnell, among those on his feet at ringside, cheering his entrance. I'm sure Arnie will be keeping a close watch on this young fella's progress. That's a decent uppercut, and it was rewarded. Mostly single shots coming from Efren at the moment. Needs to double up the, the jab a little bit more here. And throw a few more combinations. A lot of single shots going in. Oh, that's, that's a, a good right hand, wasn't it? Lovely. Good shot, yeah. Great shot. The standing eight counts, Heffron is in command. Skeet felt the weight of that and the accuracy as well. Young fellow really fancying it now, just 18 years old. Walked onto a good one-two there from, from Skeet, did Heffron. There's better boxing from Skeet. Just waiting a little bit too long here, Efron. Needs to step in, quicken those feet up a little bit more and get to his man. But the power shots are going in from Efron. Is he a good learner, Richie? Yeah, he is. I, I mean, I like his, um, his attitude in the, in the gym. He's quite quiet, but he listens. Yeah, he does learn quick. He's been working a lot with myself and Robert McCracken has been showing him a thing or two. We have got some great coaches in Calvin Travis and Dave Alloway, Nigel Davis. Good, good coaches. And he's obviously a popular lad. He might be quiet, but he's a popular lad. He's got plenty of support down here. Yeah, some good stuff here from Efron. There's a nice left hook that went in. A lot of single shots, as I said, but they were getting through. There's that one-two, that was a good combination there from Efren. Towards the end of the round, there's that left uppercut. That was the best shot of the round, super shot. Just slipped on the inside and threw it, great punch. Well, the Hefron fans are making themselves heard up on their feet. And this lad, Bradley Skeets, has got a lot to do if he's going to turn it around. He's already been on the receiving end of a standing eight count. <laughs> well, 
into the neutral corner and the referee having a close look at Bradley Skeets. What's your uh, interpretation of that, Richie? I think there's a bit of swelling, John, on, on Bradley Skeets' left eye and he's just having a closer look at it. The certainly that left eye, a little bit swollen. And I think he was looking if there was a nick. See his eyes above the eye, swollen there. He's being outgunned, isn't he, as well as outworked. Yeah, some big shots from Efren. And this is a boxer that the 3-3 is definitely suiting, you see, because there's more power shots going in. Yeah, you can see there that left eye is closing a little bit. See that quite clearly as the camera shot gets in close. That's what the referee was worried about. And now it's Heffron who's told for holding on with the right arm. Holding on to hit him there, John, I think he was. Good head movement there from Heffron. Needs to start doubling up the jab here, though. Just close that gap down, then send the right hand over, does Heffron. Skeet boxing on the back foot, trying to pick his shots, but his feet are very, very slow. That's oh, that's again. another standing eight. It's the right hand again as well. There's that swelling. It's not too bad, though, is it? Oh, he stopped oh. it. The referee stopped it. The referee stops it, and the Heffron fans celebrate. And that's an impressive win for the youngster from Manchester, from the Borshaw Police Club. They like that. Yeah, good win. I referee thought, uh, right? Well, I thought Skeet probably is looking into the referee's eyes, and the referee didn't like what he saw there, and, uh, and there was no complaints, was there, from Skeet, which is very, very surprising, so he obviously didn't fancy it, but uh, good performance from Efren on the attack, some big shots going in here. There's that right hand over the top, that was a good shot. He was in a bit of a mess in the opening round, wasn't he, truth be told? Yeah, mainly power shots from Efren. Got a good guard, though. And there's another good right hand. Get clipped with the right hand, but that's the one that brought the standing count. Well, it was a clean shot, but uh, how hard it was, Bradley Skeet could tell us that one. What we do know is that Ronnie Heffron is the 64 kilogram champion and the chance are for the young man from Manchester. Ladies and gentlemen, the result of contest number six, referee Paul Allen has stopped the contest in the second round. The winner, Heffron, in the red corner. So, first stoppage of the night, Steve Bunce. Yeah.